Now, the tension in Nigeria continues, especially after Nigerians defied the call to suspend the end bad governance protest. But the protest is taking a different dimension as we speak. The most notable development is that prominent Nigerians who were indifferent at the beginning of this protest are now beginning to back the protest. But events got more heated when news broke out that the Prime Minister of Bangladesh had resigned and fled the country after the people of Bangladesh said enough is enough and they occupied their state house, chased out everybody. Minutes after the Bangladesh updates dropped, Nigerians began trending the Occupy Abuja hashtag that the protests should be moved to Abuja. But the youths of Kenya took theirs to another level. They began trending the Occupy State House hashtag. They said they would move down their protest to their state house and Ruto has to go. And all of a sudden, Nigerian protesters began talking about not only hashtag Occupy Abuja, but occupying Asorok in a massive revolution. And seeing the crowd that marched into Abuja from Suleja and Yaya during this protest, Asorok has completely shut down, restricting access to almost everybody, including Wiki. But the worst of all is that Southwest groups have come out to back this revolution of millions of Nigerians occupying the villa. If there was anyone or any group of people that were expected to oppose this kind of move, it was the Southwest. But now they are coming out to back it with a very, very concrete reason that nobody could argue with. Before I show you how the Yorubas are backing this revolution, the shutdown of the villa and how Nigerians reacted, let me quickly show you this pair of videos. <laughs> Yes, you know the first person that wanted to do that. Say that guy is nice. Say that guy is nice. I didn't tell you now this kind of thing. Okay, so apparently they asked this guy to stop, but he's not stopping. What we are looking at presently is the potential next move of the end bad governance protest, the Occupy Abuja, which has now snowballed into Occupy Asorok, especially with security forces gradually losing control of the masses in some areas of the protest. And this takes me to the next video, which is part of the reason Asorok is beefing up security. Teenagers overpowered police and took their van. See the video. You saw that. Now, if your national security has been ridiculed to this point, there is no way you won't begin to shut down your state house. As we speak, Wiki, many other ministers and appointees no longer have access to the villa because they can't be trusted. Everywhere is shutting down security is being beefed up because of this million march protesters are planning. But Yoruba groups, who many thought should be backing a Yoruba president, made this reiteration that has further gingered protesters to occupy. Because the point they raised here cannot be argued, it can't be denied. It's not debatable. You see, the internet never forgets. We are now at a point in this country where receipts are the ones doing the talking. If you say something, you want to oppose something, they go back to your past, bring receipt of when you supported it and they will drop it for you. And almost everyone in the APC is guilty of all the things they are kicking against today. 
Nigerians are trending the Occupy Villa hashtag and some people in Tinubu and APC camp want to tag such an utterance criminal. But this group quickly came out with this receipt. And in addition to the receipt, they encouraged the Occupy Villa movement by saying a dialogue will never work. Can you just imagine that? Look at how the papers reported it. Protest. Tinubu called for revolution against Jonathan. Can't complain. Afeni Ferry. The pan Yoruba social political group, Afeni Ferry, has cautioned Bola Tinubu to stop apportioning blames following the protest against his administration. Afeni Ferry said Tinubu called for a revolution against Good Luck Jonathan, hence, should not apportion blame now. Prince Justice Fakiesi, National Publicity Secretary of Afeni Ferry, loyal to the acting leader, Chief Ayo Adeban, just said Tinubu's speech did not address the real issues of the nationwide hunger. Fakiesi noted, that it was disingenuous for Tinubu to claim that the nationwide protest was politically motivated when he did same under Jonathan. Addressing newsmen on Monday, he said it is the same thing that happened under Good Luck Jonathan and he, Tinubu, called for a revolution or protest and when he is facing the same thing and even worse, he is blaming other people. We never believed that just calling for dialogue would change anything. He has never changed. And then they attached this part of the National Daily Politics Today. This is from Tuesday, September 30, 2014. Tinubu calls for revolution that was under the Jonathan regime. The internet never forgets. 